Hello and welcome everybody. My name's Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com. Thanks for joining me for the lovely Leo 2022 horoscope. Well, it's a big year coming up. We've had a couple of big years we've been through and it has been quite stressful for a lot of people. But uh, 2022 is a little bit different because things are looking more positive in the heavens. So it is a bit uphill and down dial. We still have Saturn squaring Uranus, which has been going on through 2021. Uh, but we should be sort of used to it in a sense because, you know, we've had so many hits and we're going to have a few more hits in uh, 2022 as well. I will talk about that when we come to your horoscope. Uh, there is a beautiful, fantastic thing that's happening for you, lovely Leo, and that is that Jupiter is uh, going to um, be in alignment with your ascendant. It's actually a positive alignment. It's a trine. And so this is going to give you a huge boost of energy and good fortune. Uh, Jupiter actually does bring good luck as well as uh, confidence and optimism. So that's really good. Uh, we have four eclipses, which is usual, more or less. We have uh, four uh, hits of Mercury going retrograde, which is more or less uh, uh, usual. Jupiter is moving back and forward between your eighth and ninth houses. I will talk about that as well. The other big thing that's happening is the US is going through its Pluto return. Pluto comes around to the same spot in its orbit every 248 uh, years. And so this Pluto return on the 21st of February is where Pluto was when the Constitution was signed, I believe. I'm not actually American, if you couldn't tell. Um, but I believe that's where Pluto was. So um, it means that those circumstances around that time uh, of the signing of the Constitution... Can you hear my cat? My cat is going crazy. I've got to close the door. Sorry, he is the noisiest cat. Uh, his name's Prince Harry. You would have met him if you follow me. He is so noisy, it's unbelievable. Anyway, so uh, Pluto return means it's going to bring up a lot of polarisation uh, in the population. And what happens in America doesn't just affect America. Of course, it affects the whole world because it's the most powerful country uh, on the planet at the moment. And uh, so what happens there is, you know, governments are very quick, especially uh, the Australian government, are very quick to follow what America does. So we look to America and we see what's happening there. And then you can see very soon uh, thereafter things start happening in your own country along those lines. So it's almost like countries, other countries import American culture, basically, is what happens. So these themes of addiction, uh, manipulation, even uh, narcissism, plenty of that about, isn't there, uh, sadly? But there's also life, death and rebirth. So we've been going through the death part for a fair while now. When I give you the date, February 21st, it doesn't mean that there's going to be some great big catastrophic thing on that day, although there could be something significant happen. I wouldn't be surprised. But uh, the, how the planets and the cosmos works, it's more like a river. And so it flows into a sort of crescendo point uh, and then it sort of ebbs away and then it flows in. It's a bit like the waves coming in, isn't it, and going out. And so we've been in the death part. So we can expect uh, from February 21st right through to uh, 2024 that there will be these themes of life, death and rebirth manipulation, control, power over other people, you know. So you might be fighting for what you uh, consider your rights, but I do suggest you check your own constitution because different countries have different constitutions. So in Australia, we don't have, uh, you know, the right to say just anything, you know. <laughs> uh, you know, so um, that's just one example. We, don't, we have a totally different uh, constitution. So if you're in Australia, don't think what applies in America applies here because we're under t totally different laws that have been handed down from the Westminster system, but they're not even the same as UK laws. Uh, so we have our own version of democracy here. Uh, so it's going to be a pretty big year with a lot of uh, things that are really going to impact on you, uh, lovely Leo. 
just quickly, uh, just to explain, I like to draw two cards as theme cards for the month for you. We'll have a look at your horoscope in depth and then I'll do a psychic channeling at the end. So stick around for that. And if you're new, subscribe and be alive and hit that notification bell right now. Okay, let's rock and roll. And this is your horoscope. I'll come to in a moment. But let's draw these uh, two cards first and uh, see that one's turned around the wrong way. See uh, what uh, we're going to deal with as theme cards for Leo in 2022. All right, that one on top. Closing my eyes now. What do I see? The thing about um, Jupiter, this comes to mind. Uh, Jupiter sextiling Venus is all about care and compassion. And uh, we need this so much at the moment. And uh, so it's such a beautiful energy and we're going to all have a couple of hits of it. So that's great. Uh, well, that's why I'm saying that because uh, this card here, the Ten of Cups is all about uh, motherhood and nurturing. So this is how you take care of your family, but also other people and yourself, most importantly. You see this rocking horse down here? This is like dealing with your inner child. So the theme to start the year uh, is taking care of yourself, being kind, uh, nurturing others, and getting the balance right. You know, sometimes it's hard to get the balance between yourself and other people. But there you go. Uh, Ten of swords comes out uh, sorry eight of swords comes out this is being restricted uh or dominated in some way i'm going going to draw another card uh because we won't just finish on this but the positive thing about this is that you become aware of it i feel like the restrictions been there for a fair while uh leo and so you've been sort of putting up with something but it doesn't really suit you and you're fed up and you're sick of it and so I feel like you're becoming more and more aware of this limitation and restriction and you're going to do something about it. Let's get a little bit more uh, clarity. Um, it could be a, some authority figure. It could be your government. It could be your husband. It could be your wife. It could be, uh, you know, if you're working for somebody else, it could be them or it could be your customers if you're working for yourself. Uh, but it's about being dominated by others. Let's see. But it's very necessary. The card is necessary because it's pointing this out to you and it's saying, in what way am I being dominated? In what way is my freedom being restricted? Okay, now this is very interesting because the uh, Four of Swords comes up. This is about exhaustion. Okay, so it's about taking care of your health. Uh, and you might feel that you're fed up with a situation, but what you need to do is regain your strength in uh, 2022, okay? And part of that is through rest. You need to get the first, the balance right. Also sleeping, this indicates to me that uh, perhaps there's some sleep disturbance. You're having uh, issues uh, sleeping and, um, you know, you might have to find out what they are. And maybe, you know, some people get up to go to the toilet and things like that. Sorry, in the uh, US, what do we say, uh, lavatory. lavatory. Uh, yeah, um, so basically, yeah, maybe don't drink anything after 6 p.m., okay? But certainly this suggests something out of balance, okay? Your sleep needs to be, you need to make sure you get enough sleep so that... Um, this situation where you're being restricted is not exacerbated, okay? Now, you can think of this as um, being the first and the second half of the year, these cards, if you want to, or you might notice that um, they go together all year. The solution, this is almost like the solution card, is to take care of yourself, okay? And to do what you want to do. Don't do what other people want you to do. Do what you want to do. Okay, let's have a look now. I'm going to make this a bit um, uh, bigger so that you can see. And uh, do bear these cards in mind because they're probably going to come up in your horoscope. Okay, so up to the 1st of February and then again from the 5th of August to the 8th of December, Pluto conjuncts Pluto, bringing up hidden energies and even compulsions and deep sort of dark things come in, could come into your mind 
or um, incidents that have happened a long time ago and they come back because they haven't been fully uh, cleared you're quite instinctive instinctive at the moment so sometimes it's like you do things but you don't know why you do them because you're just running on instinct and that's okay to do that uh, but sometimes especially when you're dealing with money you need to actually think logically okay so in instinct uh, it's good to stay in touch with your instincts because that's how you get gut feeling for example uh, gut feeling will help you uh, with your intuition it's almost like the solar plexus is a seat of the intuition up to the 8th of february neptune conjuncts neptune giving you a very vivid imagination and you might be really in touch with your dreams and your subconscious what's going on down there uh, if you're sensitive you're likely to feel it if you're busy and distracted you probably won't feel this very much up to the 10th of january saturn conjuncts saturn um, you could be questioning major commitments like your work you could be questioning your relationships where you live um, it's a time of self-analysis reflection it's not a good good time to necessarily make a, like a really fast decision an impulsive decision because it's satin you probably wouldn't it's something like it would take some time for you to decide but you're looking at these questions 9th of January to the 26th of January, Saturn sextiles Mars. This is fabulous if you're working because it brings a lot of cooperation and ha harmony with co-workers and colleagues. If you're any kind, in any kind of club or organisation or team, you work together very effectively and so teamwork brings success. 22nd of January to the 4th of February, Venus trines Uranus. This is also fabulous and brings in unexpected pleasures new friends um, a very adventurous exciting sort of energy especially in your relationships it's a stimulating and delightful time it's a great time to take a break from routine maybe go on a mini vacay or a holiday somewhere if you can it's time for a refreshing change of pace if you're looking for a new romance or a revitalization of an old romance it's very likely 24th of February to the 4th of March, Jupiter squares Mars. Uh, this is actually a reasonably good influence, even though it's a square. You're feeling, feeling more bold, daring and enterprising. If you do feel restricted, okay, so see how... See, I've already printed out all my notes and everything, but you see how the cards work in with the horoscope. This is all about restriction here. And uh, if you are feeling restricted, you're likely to be able to break free of present limitations. You may seek a new job, look at a new house to live in. There's more opportunities coming to you. Uh, it may be a great time for advertising products, marketing, and looking at new business opportunities, even a business opportunity on the side. 24th of February to the 14th of March, Saturn Sextiles, your MC, brings significant progress in your career and you could receive a promotion uh, or there's a new job or a pay rise or something like that. Uh, the energy is very smooth and easy flowing around your uh, work. If you're doing the work that makes your heart sing, if you're doing your life mission, it's all smiles. 10th of February uh, to the 5th of April and then again 26th of September through to the 5th of February 2023 Neptune sextiles Venus this is fabulous it brings in comp compassion sympathy love uh, and concern for other people your heart reaches out to them and you can extend yourself and offer assistance and they will do the same for you uh, if you've been having difficulties with somebody, it's a good time to break through the barrier between you. 8th of February to the 3rd of April, Uranus squares Saturn. And then again, but almost, but not quite exact on October 4. So it's only like 33 or 37 minutes. Um, it, you know, it doesn't quite make the square. But anyway, the energy is there for difficulties. Sometimes things just don't want to run the way you the way that you plan them. Okay, it's almost like they've got their own mind and they're going to do what they want, not what you want. They run their own course, 
It could be things like disturbances, um, annoyances, um, interruptions, delays, and that makes it difficult for you to stick to your knitting, what you want to do. 16th of April through to the 25th of April, Jupiter Sextiles Pluto brings cooperation with business, government agencies, and uh, influential individuals. You can gain cooperation and support from authorities and bureaucracies that pre previously ignored you and organisations are more willing to assist you now. 30th of April or the 1st of May if you're in Australia and New Zealand, there's a solar eclipse uh, in your 10th house here. It brings new beginnings, new energy uh, to your true vocation, what you're meant to be doing with your life. It's your life's mission. Uh, it's also about your reputation and social status. You might think about a new career that makes your heart sing. Rather than taking care of mundane things that you feel jaded about, it could be that it's, you know, if you're in your own business, for example, it's time to put somebody else on to take care of those mundane things. 5th of May to the 15th, and then the 17th of October to the 12th of November, and then again 4th of December to the 30th of December. So there's three hits here with Jupiter trining your ascendant, which I referred to before. It's fabulous. It gives you the ability to express yourself confidently. It wins respect and admiration of other people. You can promote your ideas and plans that you strongly believe in. Other people don't resist you now. They help you. Uh, they accept your proposals and even provide some support. 10th of May to the 27th of October and again the 20th of December to the 16th of May 2023 Jupiter moves into your ninth house here. Okay, uh, it's fabulous. It brings an extra powerful amount of energy to expand your life, your confidence, your good luck even. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities, uh, particularly through travel, study, learning, and spirituality. This is called the house of the higher mind. You meet new friends or people from other countries or with overseas connections who help you in some way. You enlarge your scope and broaden your life's horizons. 15th of May, there's a lunar eclipse in your fourth house here. Uh, this is about your home and family. There's some sort of transformation going on. Uh, you could be doing things around the house, but it's more emotional than that. It brings up something from the past, something from your subconscious. But I do want to say, make sure your roof is in good repair because I had that flash yesterday when I prepared this. Uh, I could uh, just, it just come to me the words, make sure your roof is in good repair. So depending where you are, you might also want to check your insurance. Uh, 16th of May uh, until the 10th of August and again the 26th of September uh, up until oh, I've taken the date out. February 2023, uh, Neptune, Sextiles, Pluto. Let me just have a look. I might be able to tell you. Um, uh, da, 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 February 23, yeah, 23rd of February, that should be. 23rd of February 2023, Neptune, Sextiles, Pluto brings tremendous psychological and inner growth. So this is very exciting. Uh, it is happening inside you. So it's going to take a little bit of time to manifest in your outside world. But you're basically getting rid of all the old sort of stuff that you may have inherited or um, deeply held beliefs that have been holding you back that have been negative in some way. 5th of September to the 7th of December, sextile, uh, Saturn Sextiles, your MC. This brings fabulous progress in your career pursuits or in your life generally. You could receive a promotion uh, or get a new job, uh, but you're going up a step in the world. 26th of September to oh, 5th of February, Neptune Sextiles, Venus. I've already talked about that one. 25th of October, solar eclipse in Scorpio in your fourth house uh, here brings a new beginning around the house. So this is likely to bring renovations uh, or um, 
changing something to do with your house or something in your family it's Scorpio so it's sort of deep and intense it brings things up but it's but it's probably very positive in fact um, there could be maybe a baby coming in your family or you move home it's something major that will occur within a few months so it doesn't mean it happens right on the 25th of October it could happen before it could happen after uh, then we have the 8th of November with a lunar eclipse in your 10th house up here now you see these two houses they're like on a, an axis they work together so it's always home and family the private the personal and then this is out in the world the community what you do outside your home and by that I mean what you do for work or um, your vocation usually outside but nowadays of course people are working from home uh, but this brings a transformation and again you incre even though it let me get this straight with the with a lunar eclipse even though it dredges up things and it can be an emotional time it's about increasing your life in some way pushing you towards your true vocation okay all right there's a lot of positive things happening there for you leo this year which is fabulous let's have a look now and i'm going to close my eyes and see what i can see for you for 2022 what's this oh right okay i see this sort of bit of light moving across like that and then i realize i'm looking at a tunnel with light in the tunnel and then it's like mining for gold but then it's like i'm i stand corrected they're saying opals okay so mining for opals so opals have lots and lots of different colors uh if you're in australia this particularly relates to you lovely leo okay australian uh leos or places where opals are mined okay so there are a few other countries that have opals too uh, and uh, so it basically means all the different colors are all the different areas of your life and it's like there's a searching going on to find the brilliance of all of these different aspects of your life to become more brilliant that's what 2022 is about uh, for one if you want one word or one sentence let's say or a phrase to describe 2022 for you it is a search for brilliance Please write that down and put it on your fridge uh, so it can remind you. But that's what's going on. And you're going to be successful. You are going to find these opals. There's, there's a woman standing here with one in a hand. It's like this big. It's the um, raw opal in the rock. And there's lots of colors there. It is extremely valuable. It is so rare to find an opal in rock like this size. Okay, they're like little tiny nuggets and things. You know, normally is how they're found. Uh, and there's just like a seam that is running through all of this rock in this cave okay so the cave is deep down inside your subconscious it's also in your body okay looking uh, in your body you might find even though sometimes you feel tired this year uh, there's going to be great rewards for you you'll be so by the end of 2022 you'll look back and you'll say wow I've come so far things that used to bother me they don't bother me so much now I actually feel much happier so regardless you know work's important and uh, of course and your children and your family and your husband blah 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 all those things that that humans are involved with but the most important thing is being happy in yourself and you're going to find that I just feel like you're going at the end of the year of 2022 and how much ground you've actually covered and how many rewards you've actually reaped during 2022 okay so that's it lovely leos i do hope this is helpful for you uh, leave a like share on your socials that would be fabulous and uh, most importantly have a wonderful year if you're new subscribe and be live and hit that notification bell right now Okay, thanks again, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. Please visit my website, absolutesoulsecrets.com, for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.